Hi Aries, how's it going? This is going to be your love reading for February 2018. And I would like to look into a recent past before we move on to February. So Aries in love, recent past. Eight of Pentacles, building, ooh, okay, eight and seven of Pentacles. So guys, there is something that you've invested a lot of your time and energy in, okay? This could be a relationship that's very important to you. It, there could be a person that invested all their time and energy into a relationship with you, but this is definitely working on details. This is building, 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 okay? Uh, not really focusing on anything else. However, there could have been some kind of some kind of wake up call that came, okay? What is it all, all about? The fool. So it's about a new beginning of some sort, some kind of taking a risk. You had to decide whether or not you want to take a risk with this, whatever you've been working on for a while. And I'm assuming that, you know, if you've been working on something for a while, you might want to take a risk with it. You don't just want to let it go to waste. Um, yeah, let's see what's happening in February with you guys. February, Aries. Starting out with Four of Cups, Four of Wands, and Six of Pentacles. Well, at least none of these are in reversals, which is already good. Uh, with Four of Cups and Four of Wands, this is some kind of an offer that can show up, okay, from the person you're dealing with, maybe somebody else, and it's in regards to a home. There could have been, okay, for married uh, couples, for couples that are in serious relationships, this could be a change of a home, you know, this could be moving. Um, and uh, you're not quite sure whether or not you want to make this move, okay, in the month of February. For once, definitely talks about an actual home. You know, it could be moving to a new home, it could be wedding, okay, it could be moving in together with a partner, but one of you is hesitating to do that. And I don't know which one is that, you or the partner. And Six of Pentacles here talks about being there for each other, compromising, you know, but it's upright. So I do believe that even though you're being stubborn here, or maybe your partner is being stubborn, it's still going to work out in some way. And I do believe this is something about either you moving in together or purchasing a home, you know, renting out a home, like uh, maybe moving to a different state, different, you know, city, um, something like that. What's next? Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups, and Three of Wands. That's beautiful. So there will be some kind of communication with the person, okay? Whether it's your partner or somebody that you are getting involved with. This is something where you're waiting on the result, on a positive result, okay? Putting a lot of work into something and waiting for it to come to fruition. Waiting for, you know, fruits of your labor, wait of your labor, waiting on your ships to come in, okay? And this is something that's making you feel very, very satisfied. It's a wish come true. There could be something that you've been working on for a while, for example, for example saving up to move in or something, you know, together with your partner, that's going to come true. It looks like it's coming true, okay? In the month of February, this is something that you've been wanting. So think, you know, about what you've been wanting to do with your partner. It actually might happen in the month of uh, February. That's amazing. Definitely lots of communication, lots of action put towards it. Yeah, very positive. Okay, so... What is next, Aries? Six of Wands in reverse, Justice in reverse, and the Emperor in reverse, Jesus Christ. Okay, so <clears throat> there might be something in regards to that, something a little bit more complicated complicated that than just moving in together can talk. This could be some kind of legality, some kind of contract, some kind of, you know, dealing with authorities, dealing with parents if you're younger, you know, something like that. And you're not quite getting the attention of them. You're not quite getting their approval, something along those lines. It could be your partner and people from, you know, their side. Somebody is not either agreeing on what you're trying to do or somebody is in the way, okay, of uh, kind of your wishes, 
coming true, okay, which is a little bit messed up, but with the justice in reverse, it's somebody going through a divorce as well, you know, with the emperor in reverse, this is somebody uh, with control issues, okay, it could very well be that you or your partner are a little bit controlling, okay, and it definitely affects the relationship, it affects your steps forward, it affects your plans, okay, so the emperor is your guys' card, you know, so it could very well be you that's unhappy with the change, that's not quite confident, whether, you know, confidence right here, uh, whether or not you should move forward with this step, but I do believe that the more you argue, the more it becomes unfair to your partner, okay, with justice in reverse. I do believe this month is about making big plans, uh, finally, you know, getting the fruits of your labor, finally getting some kind of a result from long-term uh, work, because I do have a lot of building cards here, building a relationship, obviously, what else would it be, you know, so <clears throat> the financial aspect could be important this month, too, in regards to your plans. But either one party is not quite supportive of that or maybe families aren't quite supportive about this or your partner okay and your partner's side so what is the outcome for aries in love for february 2018 and this because this could simply be uh com even just committing to somebody okay in the month of february if you're not in the, like a long term you know if you're not in a serious relationship on the bottom of the deck i've got the hermit in reverse i've got the lovers in reverse and the hierophant the commitment is there okay um if you're not in in the commitment yet but there is something forming it's gonna end up forming i believe okay however there will be some kind of disagreements in regards to this commitment this could be something that you want to be done conventionally, something that everybody accepts, okay, but there is still some kind of disagreement, either from the other party or somebody is just not on the same team with you, okay, with the hermit in reverse, this is coming out of a uh, like sense of solitude, okay, trying to maybe find other ways how to do things instead of just listening to your intuition, what your wisdom has to say, and uh, I did say wisdom because you know sometimes the decisions that we make on our own aren't quite wise sometimes we do need um external uh, you know opinions opinions from our families from our friends maybe this person uh, a lot of people might think that this person is not good for you and you're still going uh with them so that might cause a little bit of argument arguments okay with five of wands in reverse, this is you avoiding conflicts or losing conflicts, okay? But I do believe this is just avoiding conflicts, not really wanting to engage in them because there's going to be plenty of conversations coming in. There will be some kind of truth said. There might be, you know, truthful, on truthful, sharp communications that you're going to have with your partner or, the you know, just whoever you're dealing with. Uh, this is something that you prefer not to talk about, but you will have to, okay? And I think it's for your own good. And now with Nine of Pentacles in reverse, some kind of instability, okay? I mean, not gonna lie, you know, this person is not quite satisfied with everything that's going on. They could be satisfied with one area of their life, but they're not satisfied with everything completely, okay? So I know you've been working on something. I know it's forming into something beautiful, but there's still a lot that needs to be done, okay, I think it's about some sort of a move, I don't know, but it could play out differently for everyone, okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this reading, um, I'm going to, I'm going back to the States in mid-February, and I'm gonna start recording my readings from, you know, my home in the States, and uh, I'll see you guys soon, and thank you guys so much for watching, bye-bye.